next our second topic for the session and the second topic for the session will be covering is the various sources of finance now we are making a foundation for going with the investment funds as such we see the terminology funds you see acquiring investing distribution liquidity now we are making a way for the understanding this path of funds in short now first step what do you do you acquire funds right so we'll be seeing now what are the various sources of finance first okay when you acquire funds you want to invest these money come from various sources right and as i told you look at a larger picture what are the various sources of finance available to our company this is what we are going to cover in this topic now now coming up to the various sources of finance as i told you every time see it from an organization point of view this module don't see from investor point of view you'll get confused see either this one side of the coin or the other see only in company point of view you see acquiring investing distribution liquidity whatever you see okay a company want funds company need funds now how will they invest the money now when a company want funds there are various sources at the disposition of a company the equity shares preference shares debentures term loans or retained earnings we'll be going through these sources of finance now now first is a equity share now what is a equity share now as the name says equity share it means equal share equity shares are also called as ordinary shares okay equity shares are the real owners of a company now they are the actual real owners of the company take take the risk in a company in short okay now these people are the real owners okay now as a real owners they contribute to the risk they contribute to the returns as well higher the profits they get more returns they take the more risk as the they are the ultimate risk bearers in our company so you can say they are the ultimate owners for example if i say i have a company for example reliance came to airline they started a company for the airlines and they want public to give them money now millions to start an airline the owners may not have so much money as well now when the company in, investors invest in your company what do they look at they look at their financial constraints as well for example if i say one share is for 10 rupee what will happen people from various works of life can buy a 10 rupee share some will buy 100 some will buy 10000 some will buy 1 lakh now what happens you become the owner based on how much you can financial obligations you have how much number of shares you have based on that you are the owner in the company for example you own 1000 shares you are the owner for the tune of 1000 shares in a company i own 10000 shares i am the owner for 10000 shares in my company as such right now we also bear the risk according to how much shares we have at the end your liability your risk is just according to how many shares you have you have 1000 shares your risk your liability is just according to your 1000 shares which you have now people from all walks of life become the owners of a company right now people from all walks of life when they become owners think how many own how many equity shareholders may be there in a company right so what do equity shareholders do they represent some representatives on their behalf now these representatives participate in the meetings of the company they take crucial decisions on the behalf of the investors as such these representatives of equity shareholders are called as directors now how do we mostly elect directors as mostly it is who has the major shareholding become a director in a company and these directors together are called as board of directors now these board of directors participate in the meetings of the company and we trust them as well why do we trust them in short because we know they are the representatives of the shareholders and if i am representing someone i know my only 1000 shares is blocked his 10000 his 1 lakh shares is blocked and only lose 1000 shares he lose more money than me so we trust these people much also as such they are just a representatives of a company in short and they are the real owners in the company and that's what equity shareholders are all about second source of finance is a preference share a preference shares holders get some preferential treatment right they are also the owners but they get certain preferential treatment what is the preferential treatment they get is now when the profits are to be distributed at the year end preference shareholders get profit first before it is paid to equity shareholder so when profit distribution time these people are paid first now certain preference they get certain preferential they get as right what they get as such as that when at a time of winding up of the company as well these people are paid first as compared to equity shareholder so they get certain preferential treatment in the company in the terms of how profits are to be distributed at time of winding up of the company what happened but these people do not have voting rights they do not participate in a decision making they do not have any voting rights in a company as such they are the owners but they don't get any voting rights like an equity shareholder to 
that's why the various types of preferences some are convertible some are non convertible some are redeemable some are irredeemable depending what type of preference share a company wants to use as such or some are convertible convertible means company gives you an option you can convert to an equity share after a period of time non convertible you cannot convert to an equity share whatever obligation you have it gets over after a period of time Similarly, have a redeemable, irredeemable. Redeemable are issued only for a particular duration. Irredeemable goes on, right? So, depending the various types of preference shares, but preference shares you should understand what they are all about. Now, the next source of finance for a company is a debenture. Now, when you want money, like now you know, either I give the money, give the money to equity shares. Now, these people will unnecessarily part. interfere in my company will get to equity shareholders will become the owners of the company i want money i don't want people to interfere in my company what do i do i raise money through debentures and short what is a debenture it is an acknowledgement of a debt it is like a loan from the public which you take as such and as a loan work debentures work on the same way you have a interest you have a duration you have a maturity period you have a principal amount debentures work on same principles as such it just is that instead of taking a loan from a pub financial institution taking a loan from a public insured debenture holders are the creditors of the company major liability of a company be very very careful when you are issuing money through debentures insured now liabilities of a company as a loan work they work in the same way now when they work in the same way be very careful you saw what happened to sahara recently in the case is going on since last year march 2014 the royal landed up in prison now what happened it is all because of a simple instrument called as debenture then supreme court came into picture sebi came into picture they filed a case what happened then court has to give them certain directions give the money back of the people which they issued as debentures and if you see how much the money went up into crores right along with interest which they need to pay even the selling of properties every now and then still they can't meet the obligation See money which they must have got through debentures, they not have to keep liquidated their house, right? They must have invested the money here and there. The second part of finance, but how do you get funds? How do you invest is very important. That's why it's important. You see, can Sarah is a very important case study which is happening today. Somewhere they went wrong. Some they issued a wrong debenture. That's another case study altogether. But when you issue, be very careful. These people won't understand. You sell off your property, do anything. They are the creditors of the company. They want their money at the end. Next source of finance is a term loan. A term loans are what taking a loan from a bank or a financial institution. Now, instead of going to the public to give you loan, what do we do? We can take a loan from a financial institution or a bank as such. So same thing, give something as a security and take a loan from a bank or a financial institution. Now, loans can be from a bank, they can be from a public as such. When they call take you loan from a public, it is called as a debenture. Now, the various types of debentures like you had was preference shares. Debentures can be convertible to equity shares. They can be non-convertible. They can be redeemable. They can be irredeemable. Various types of preference shares are there because of that. Now, last source of finance for a company is retained earnings. What are retained earnings? You remember reserves when you studied accounting. Retained earnings are the actual money which the company have of its own, right? And what are retained earnings? See the profits come into picture. Now profits come. The company has to distribute the profits, right? For example, I made a profit this year. How do I made a profit? Studying accounting, sales minus direct expenses gives you gross profit. Gross profit minus indirect expenses add up indirect incomes gives you what? Operating profit, right? Now this profit is to be distributed. This operating profit that is EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes to be distributed. Now tell me, out of four people which we covered till now, which people will you pay the money first? I'll clear my liabilities first. So I'll pay debenture holders. I'll pay term loan holders first in the form of interest. Right now, whatever money is left, whom will I pay now? I'll pay preference shareholders because they get preference in comparison to equity shareholders. I'll pay these people now. Remaining money left, who takes home? Equity shareholder. Now, as the profit which equity shareholder should take home remaining, over here we decide how much should we give them and how much should be retained back. For example, if I made a profit. For example, if I made a profit, for example, say five crore, the idea. I know the shareholders are spread throughout, right? Now five crore is a huge amount, and my company needs to be self-sufficient also. Now we say, okay, out of five, we won't give you the full money. We'll give you some amount of profit. Remaining amount of profit will reinvest back in the business. Reinvesting back in the business is called as re retained earnings, in short. 
be very careful now so profits are to be distributed at various stage shareholders profit is called as dividend so equity shareholders get equity dividend preference shareholders get preference dividend debenture holders get interest term loan holders also get interest retained earnings are the retained part of profits which belong to equity shareholders equity shareholders money only we have retained back in the business in short these are the various sources of finance at the disposition of a company